Hi, everyone. Hi. Guess who's typing? Ian Gibson. No, I stopped. Now everybody knows my dirty little secret. Uh, I switched keyboards today. Um, Listen, I hear you. I have a loud keyboard, but you have used my keyboard. It's literally like the greatest mechanical keyboard ever made. I cannot go to anything else. It's very Yeah, hard I'm not to. making fun of your keyboard. I love it. Oh, okay. I will. It's too loud. But oh, yeah, I'm willing to. Suffer but I switch keyboards to that Aki that was from your father because um, it was from the oh. studio. And I was like, giving yeah. my other keyboard a break. This keyboard is so much louder than my other keyboard. It is, um, but it's also like a, it's a, it's like soft mechanical switches. Yeah, it's also really know? good. I'm going to hold it up. Look at it. Yeah, it's got that nasty Pretty RGB. Good. I hate RGB. Me too. I hate RGB. <sighs> I hate all the colors of the wind. <laughs> I hate the United Colors of Benetton. <laughs> um, sorry for the bit of a late start, folks. I was held up at a game spot. GameStop. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get uh, into the game, and then I, and then I want to hear yes. story time. But actually, um, how about um, let's get into the game, give the recap, and then I got to step away for about 30 seconds and grab something, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay. So what have you done since... Uh, Satter's, Satter, Since Saturday. Satter's Day, I went to the game corner and racked up uh, 4,000 coins. Really? I uh, wanted to love the game corner gambling thing, but I just, I, I didn't. Oh, like it's, it. it's stupid. I wish it was exponential, but you go from machine, machine to machine and just try to get all sevens. So it took like an yeah. hour and a half, but I was able to get Thunderbolt to teach to my uh, fart. Um, so he oh, had that Zaptos. move because I have nice. thunder, but they say thunderbolts just a little bit better. Um, so, so I taught that to an him. An hour and a half for a little bit better. That yeah, but I was like also Pokemon. walking around uh, to see uh, if the nursery would do anything. I forget who? Oh, I put the Aerodactyl there um, because Halucha, uh, the saint that he is, uh, told us to um, upgrade. So I gotta go back to Cinnabar Island and we gotta do things. Yeah, you're gonna do Pokemon Mansion. Um Okay, uh give me a you're second. I'll be go right step back. away. Um, I'm stepping away! I will say they had great Pokemon hats at GameSpot. GameStop! Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life. I did that before I worked there, and now I'm just gonna keep doing it. Oh, folks, I'm going to eat this cheese stick. I'm very hungry. I had a cheese stick before. I had like four cheese sticks today. Is that too many cheese sticks? Nobody's watching this, so nobody can tell me. Mmm, that's good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go get that Tanglia. This room? No. Is it? Yeah. Feels good. Um. Come here. Um, I think they wanted a disgusting, gross Pokemon. This gross, disgusting Pokemon. I named him disgusting. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, are you changing up your uh, party? No, I'm trading this disgusting Venonat for uh, Tangelia. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, how was your, uh, GameStop trip? Let's, I mean, all in all, time. made $700 in credit. That's good. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so I brought an uh, Xbox One, an Xbox One X, and a PS4. Uh, traded that in. Um, they tested the first two, and then we were still there, and she was like... The lady was extremely nice there. She was like, I'm just going to trust you on the honor system since you rewrapped everything and brought them in boxes. 
She's like, I'm just going to give you all the stuff now and you can leave. She, she could not believe I, 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 like, I saved the wrapping for each console. She's like, I can't believe this. You're an idiot. And I'm like, I'm sorry. That's not like, praise. This is great. That's um, okay, I'm going to trade this. Breaking news from the Sony CES press conference. Tom Holland has taken the stage to discuss the Uncharted movie. Oh, no. The movie he publicly um, said he regretted doing? Yeah, he had some weird quote where he was just like, oh, uh, I don't, I kind of, I'm, I'm going to look it up. It's a weird quote. It's more like him being like, I, you know, I'm going to look it up. Tom Holland, Uncharted movie quote. Okay, here it is from February 27th. In a new interview with GQ, the Spider-Man star from South London said playing Drake in the film was sometimes, quote, less about land a mark and go through the scene and more about land a mark, stand like this, and see my bulging biceps. It was a mistake and is something that I will probably never do again. Wow. Um, I mean, I hear you, but Spider-Man is barely, barely more acting than that, so. I mean, it's not out yet, uh, so. could be way worse. He, he said he had to bulk up for the role and, quote, it was an experiment in vanity that left an odd taste in his mouth. What did he drink? He says it, he's, it's basically that he didn't like playing it because it felt like just a soulless macho character. But what left the odd taste? Uh, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> uh, sorry for stepping away. I had to get some hot chocolate. So that's actually a little cold down here. Wow. Outside. No, that's fine. Hmm. Um, uh -huh. So yeah, I traded in all that stuff. Uh, Karen got her, ordered her 1S, or Series S, I should say. Yeah. So that's on its way, and I have like 300 and something dollars left uh, to spend as I please. I also got free pro membership for trading in all that stuff. Oh, what was the threshold to hit free pro membership? I don't know. I, I She said, you're trading in so much, I'm just going to give it to you, so I don't know if that was the reason oh, i it's probably because when you with pro membership you get more more trade-in value yeah so it's probably like like you get 50 dollars more trade-in value with pro membership pro membership only costs 20 dollars. so yeah. i'm gonna go ahead and give it to you because it gives you 30 dollars more overall yeah like so, i'm still gonna charge you for it but right overall so i have a year of that and then um well that's good because i basically it's five minutes away from my house and any games we're gonna be like want to physically share between each other uh, I can just yeah, pop like over there because I get five dollar coupon a month, anyways, and then all this other stuff with that. So I'll be able to just pay yeah. pay for stuff. That's good. Um, yeah, I was looking into doing it, but honestly, the number one thing. Sorry, just to bring folks at home up to speed is um, I found out through my nephew that basically, if you trade your Xbox One X in with GameStop, you get three hundred dollars of in-store credit and a new Series S costs $300 plus tax. So you can basically trade your 1X into a Series S for just tax, um, which is crazy because I like I, I don't know if I told you, I played Halo Infinite on the 1X for like 45 minutes and there is definitely a difference. There is longer load times, the performance, you have to knock it down to performance mode because quality mode runs at 30 FPS. Like it's, there's definitely a difference between the old consoles between the new consoles and even the One X, which is a very powerful console. So going from One X to Series S is actually a really good bump. So being able to do that for just tax. The only thing that prevents me from doing that deal, however, is I really just don't want to do what you just did, which is lug the console in and stand there while they check you know, it. I hate doing that. So I I looked, I swear their website say, says this. You can you can check if, if you can. Uh, it. To completely re delete everything and reset the console because that is what I did. She told me it's easier to delete everything and leave, just leave your account. Because if you factory reset it, they have to then reinstall all the up Xboxes. You have to reinstall all the updates before you can check to see if it's working. PlayStations, you don't. Oh, because I wonder if the factory reset literally brings it back to factory status yeah. and not to the last update. So that's what was taking so long is the Xbox had to update itself. Um. 
Yeah, it just says delete any sensitive or personal images, store data, and or cache yeah. data. So my recommendation, if you do devices. take yours, I wipe it and just leave your account on it and have it the most update it can be. And then uh, I was thinking about I was thinking about factory resetting it, then updating and logging in with my account. Yes, that and just doing that. That's even better. Yeah. Hi, Saint Alucha, Cinnabar buns. Thank you. I had to come up with it about five seconds before the stream. Ooh. Southwest gives me two points per dollar spent, so I could get 600 points. That's pretty good. <gasps> Wheezing. Wheezing. Man, just finding all the Pokemons today. I'm gonna look up, what is, how does GameStop Pro cost? So, uh, just to be clear, you're going through the mansion, Pokemon Mansion? Yes, Pokemon Mansion, here we come. Watch out, I've got a gun. <laughs> Man, ever since I got that gun item, Pokemon's been really easy. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's fifteen dollars a year for pro, that gives you the extra trade in credit, um, and it, the extra trade in on the one X alone is thirty dollars more. So basically, yeah, if you buy pro, then you get fifteen dollars extra on the trade in. Yeah, which would cover taxes. Well, no, I think because I think me, I think I looked it up me to buy the one S plus taxes is three thirty. But she also mentioned the um, the card you get with your money on it. The gift card is you, is tax free or something. You don't have to pay oh, taxes when store you store credit when you buy things. So we only had to pay for shipping for the oh. Series S. Oh, but you couldn't just have it delivered to the store. She, uh, she. Well, yeah, I, I guess you could have, but they didn't have any in stock. Oh, okay. I should look that. I'm gonna look that up. Game, tax on GameStop store credit. I'm looking it up. Oh, it's no tax on trade dollars is on a state by state basis. Yeah, so maybe that's just a New Jersey thing. Cause I got a I have a trade credit card. Trade credit yeah. card. Boom, catch a Pokemon in here. Box four. Yes, yeah, so I may do that. I mean honestly the only thing is just the laziness. Yeah, but it's a good time to do it because I, I was looking at other sites. Other sites are only playing like 200 for the one X right now. Like GameStop's the only one that understands there's a demand for it because it's hard to get. The other thing, <laughs> this guy came in clearly. I, I mean, maybe he's just normally like this, but I had the sneaking suspicion <laughs> he was on something. Not in a yeah. in a crazy, awful way, but just you should have stayed at home. Uh, and he was looking, he's like, oh, I'm looking to buy an Xbox whatever and they like explain like oh yeah so we've we, we don't we, the series x we only have bundles and then which they did a poor explaining of this they were like the other xboxes we have used are 250 and up and they weren't delineating generations yeah and then which i guess makes sense yes but then like they were separating ps4 and ps5 so then they're like, oh, yeah, we have Xbox Ones and Xbox One Xs if you want to take a look at that. And in my head the whole time, I'm just like, you could have said the Series X, Series S is technically different. But it's also difficult to say. Yeah. It's confusing. It's not It's not PS4 is not as good as PS5. It's, well, yeah. the Xbox One is not as good as the Xbox Series. Yeah. You know, it's like so. when I... When I bought my new 3DS XL, I went in and I said, they're like, what can I do for you? And I'm like, yeah, I want to buy a new 3DS XL. And they're like, a new or like the new model? And I was like, the new model that is called <laughs> new. And like, I wasn't, I was like, I totally understand <laughs> because it's because saying I want a new 3DS XL is confusing because that's why they named it. Yeah. Um... That's good. I'm glad you guys did that because that's I because I, I know Karen plays the One X a lot, right? Yeah, and so we said she bought the Studio PC from me, so she um, set it up over there on the other side, and thankfully this room's power can handle it. Um, 
So she's going to put the Series S there as well, and so she can flip her monitor back and forth between it. Oh, and honestly, if you get a 1440p monitor, that's that's like the sweet yeah. spot for PC and Oh, I meant to ask Series you, S. those monitors I got for 50 bucks, um, yeah. did you want one of them? Yeah. Okay, I'll ship one to you. Just got yeah, I'll pay for I'll pay for shipping. Yeah, yeah. I just I I don't need. I have three in this house now, or I have four in this house, and, and one's still completely packaged. So. Yeah, I just have two. Two of mine are very old. One of mine I think is 15, 16 years old. It still works, but it's twelve eighty by ten twenty four, seventeen inches. <laughs> yeah, I forget. I think these are twenty three. Forget what they are. Need to look it up. Oh, I should just I, um, put a rappel on, shouldn't I? I I kind I picked up Fire Red again, and I started playing it, and I was like, maybe I should grind for the Elite Four, mostly because I told Maggie I wasn't going to, and she just was merciless. <laughs> um, and so I started grinding, and I got through two of the Elite Four fights, but it's just such a slog grinding them and going through the fight, and I'm realizing my team composition is not great, which means I have to over-level. I'm still not sure if I'm going to beat the Elite Four. Because it's just like, either I keep grinding my current team, or I spend a little bit longer to pick up a better Pokemon and grind him into the team. Yeah. And it's just like... I just... It's literally just like, what am I trying to prove here? You know? But at the same time, I don't really have any other games to play right now. kind of just... I'll probably start... I'll probably try out Spelunky 2 when it hits Game Pass next week, but that's probably it. Ooh, I didn't realize that hit. Oh, yeah, yeah and Outer to, Wilds to is coming it. back to Game Pass. And uh, uh, Mass Effect Legendary is coming for the first time. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm in a weird spot. Gonna I want to play games. I ain't got no games to play. You know, I, I had a... I don't know if this quite translates. I, you had me thinking last time when we were talking about you were doing, trying to do your one movie a week sort of thing. <laughs> and I was, because what you described with movies is, I mean, I get with movies too, but I get that mostly with video games is the overwhelming, uh, I'm sure you do too, what game to play. I either end up playing nothing or I end up playing uh, something I've played a billion times, you know, like RimWorld or whatever. Or, or you end up making a bad choice because there's less pressure to enjoy that bad choice. Yeah, but which that part's fine with me, but I, I wanted to come up with some sort of system or something where I at least, I want to try a new game every week. Like, new to me game. Um, but I, but yeah, the problem is... Say play, fi play 52 new games this year. And it doesn't yeah. have to be every week just means you got to catch up by the end of the year. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Because my, my main concern was like, oh, what happens if I, I start a new game this week and I really like it? Do I have to start a new game next week? But no, I, I think yeah, try to hit that threshold. So, Because that, that's what I did with my with my movie thing. Like, there was a period of like three or four weeks where I didn't watch any movies because I was so busy moving, packing, unpacking, etc. And I knew I was fine with that. That's why I did. I want to watch 52 movies this year and not necessarily yeah. a movie every week. Um, um, okay, that works a little bit better. This guy looks so stupid as a Pokemon. Firo or Firo? Look at him. He looks like a chicken, like a, 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 a rubber rubber chicken. Not as good as uh, did I show you Kingler? Where he's he just oh, see the, yeah. the, the the claw. It's so good. The claw. Oh, you know what? I keep I keep looking at the opponent's health. I don't know. What is, my brain hurts. I today. keep looking at the Jesuits. <laughs> Man, my 3D printer, Ian. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Don't say that because I've literally been putting off for four months fixing mine because I, I really know. Don't I know. Have to I know. Um, I. So I bought a new glass bed and I bought the CR Touch and I bought new springs and I bought dampeners. Touch. So I put the springs yeah. on and the glass bed. Spring, springs are. Springs are so good because yeah. it won't go out of level as often. Yeah, it's great. It's but really good. I mean, they're kind of redundant because with the CR Touch, I really don't need them as much. But it's good to have them. Although, although I will say, 
at least with the stiffer springs, you won't have to worry about it wobbling yes. mid print. Yes, totally. Yeah. Um, the dampers, you're talking about the, the motor mount dampers? Yes. So those, yeah. so my my story, I put the, the, uh, put the springs on in the glass bed, and then I had trouble getting stuff adhering to the glass bed because you got to clean it. But some people say not to use isopropyl alcohol because it'll remove the special coating. Some people say do use isopropyl alcohol because it... so, isopropyl alcohol is fine on that coating. Yeah. yeah. So finally, like I settled just some dish soap and water just to clean it, and then they say a tiny bit of dish soap, yeah. and then that's what most people recommended. So that ended up working. And then my prints kept getting messed up. I was like, I don't know what's wrong with it. So then I installed the CR Touch. Um, and that was that was cool. That's like it does the mesh and everything. And then the pro the point I got stuck on was the um, you have to pr you have to set the Z offset of the probe because where the yeah. probe touches, it says to itself that's zero. So then you need to tell it how far more from zero it needs to go for the print head to print. Yeah, for the nozzle. So I did that about four times. And every time I went to print, the nozzle would be a good five millimeters up and just start going. And I couldn't figure out, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. I'm still not 100% sure what fixed it, but I'm pretty sure it was having my SD card in when I saved the settings so it would save to the SD card. That Because that's where the EEPROM no. data is stored. That, but that shouldn't... I, I don't think it is, but it's the only thing that's worked. Um, yeah, granted, absolutely. I started completely from zero the final time I did it, so I think that might have had effect on it too. Yeah. Um, but regardless, CR Touch working brilliantly, printing great. Um, until I tried to put the dampeners on today, and uh, that didn't work out so well. So I get it. The dampers are weird because like they give you for every axis, but you really sh you shouldn't put it on the you shouldn't put it on the Z. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, you don't put it on the Z because you have to print a mount and it doesn't work as well. It throws it off. I I wouldn't even necessarily put it on. I think I have it on the Y, and I'm not even sure I have. I think I have it on the X, but it's not good for the X because it tilts it. So it helps a little bit with the sound and the noise. But honestly, the biggest noise cut was you may already have it, but there was like a second revision of the board that had a much quieter steppers and stuff on it. Um, and so I had like like an original Ender 3 and it was loud and I just replaced the motherboard and it became much quieter. So and yeah. you, you may already have that version. So that's why like the dampers are like, they're cool, they make sense, but they're not worth the hassle. So I, I think I have that version. So I did this whole thing where I printed out this new piece for the X axis. Um, going off this one tutorial. So I installed all of that perfectly. Mm -hmm. The only problem is there's a bolt that sticks out that hit the piece I printed out because the piece I printed out warped. Um, mm -hmm. So since then, I've reset everything. But the sound difference between having a damper on and not is wild. It was so much quieter. Um, yeah, it's definitely quieter. Yeah. But the and other thing is, um, I, I don't know if you've seen the squash ball mod where basically you get these holders to add squash balls to. So the printer feet become squash balls and that prevents it from transmitting any vibration into the table below it. And it actually prevents it from rocking back and forth. That's another thing I've wanted. To yeah. Do. So I did that. I undid it because the thing kept hitting. So now basically now my plan is to um i'm just going to install because the easiest one to install is the one on the y um so i'm just going to install one on the y axis a lot of the tutorials yeah. have you like flipping the motors and then changing the code so it knows to home to the new spot and all this and for the life of me i just wanted to see if anyone made a metal version of those holders and i couldn't find anything online you may have to find it on like aliexpress or something yeah but it's um, just it's a lot. But yeah, that's good. I, it's good to hear the CR Touch works because maybe when I get mine working again, I'll finally get the CR Touch or some other touch uh, yeah. leveler because I've gotten pretty good at leveling, especially with those yellow bed springs. It's 
you, you you have to level it like once every 10 prints pretty much but it's still kind of a pain leveling it so yeah i'm not i'm not fully convinced of the glory of the glass print bed but honestly it could just be that i'm i'm not oh yeah, so that's that's the thing is I I have that glass print bread and the reason why I bought it was because my metal bed was warped, like pretty pretty quickly I could tell it was warped and I was and they was just like okay we'll put the glass on because we know the glass is level. And for me, what I do is I use uh, glue stick, so just put a just yeah. literally heat it up and then just glue stick the whole thing. That should last you one to two prints. The next time you do a print, just just glue stick where it, where it did the print previously, and then once every ten prints or so. Or if you haven't printed in a while and it's collected dust, take the whole bed off, take it to the sink, as much soap and water as you want, clean it off, let it dry. So it's like, it's basically just clean it off the printer once every 10 prints. Otherwise, just glue, glue stick. That's that's what worked really well for me. Gotcha. Because I, I don't have to do any brims or anything like that. I've never had to. So uh, my other question is the CR touch. So I know it does like it. it I So I changed my G code so that before every print now it, it doesn't a new auto home um mm -hmm. just to get the new mesh value so when it finds that mesh value now it knows what's level so even if the bed isn't perfectly level it knows how to adjust as it's printing it it should but when you have it set up properly so that's right. the thing is, but is I, I, yeah pine the, pie in the sky that's what the technology does i just wanted to understand that's yeah, what it's it, supposed it literally, to do. It creates the mesh and then it adjusts the print as it's doing the mesh. So it's not just leveling the nozzle, it's also creating a mesh. So like if it's drawing a straight line, instead of it being the exact same height, it's, it's going go, to follow okay. the mesh of the bed. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, but you've got to set it up that way. Yeah, so it's been doing that. that. So it's, it's, I just was going crazy because I was like, how does it work? Um, Cause like, it's not connected to the springs. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been working pretty pretty well. Um, yeah, I've been really liking that. Yeah, I gotta print only, some more things. It's only forty dollars. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Oh, but you know what? I I need to look into it because I have the direct extruder now, so it may not work on my mount because I completely replaced the extruder mount. Oh, and gotcha. I mean, yeah, I mean the nozzle and extruder mount. Like my extruder is now attached above my hot end on the x-axis oh which prevents it, it it grabs the filament better and it prevents normally with the bowden setup it has to like push filament you know like 10 inches which can cause some inaccuracies and cause it to slip a little bit over time so with this setup it doesn't do that at all and it prints um flexible filament much much better because it's 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 like a mill it's like a centimeter that it has to push it instead of pushing it 10 inches but yeah, I may do something stupid and just buy this before I even have my printer working again. Yeah, it was. Um, what was the, what was the what was the software setup on this? Uh, the you just put a f firmware on a, a blank SD card, plug it in, start turn it on, it updates the firmware, and then you eject it. Um, and then you're you're still using the Creality slicer. So I was using Creality slicer my G code got messed up and there were, I couldn't figure out how to reset it. So I went and downloaded the new Creality slicer. Um, mm -hmm. And I must've been using the one off the card that came with my printer. Cause the new one is way different than what I was using and way better. Um, so I've been using mm -hmm. that and I can send you my custom G code. So I set it up. I set it up. So it preheats the bed does auto bed leveling. Um, starts preheating the nozzle because if you, heat the nozzle while at bed levels it'll blo it'll squish it if any comes out you know sometimes a little oh. bit comes out so i have it do gotcha. the bed leveling for heat then preheats the nozzle i j i haven't tested it yet but then i have it draw two lines on the very edge to clear the yeah, nozzle and then yeah. um so the the problem with those two lines is i've ha i have to adjust them because they keep it keeps trying to draw them on top of my clips that I've clipped yeah, on. I, I move my clips so that I, because I know where the lines are now. I move yeah. my clips around. Yeah, I should have done that. So I've, I've moved the lines now. Um, so it's going to do that the next time I start it up. But yeah, that was the main thing is I was trying to figure out like how to write G code. What do I change? Like, yeah. yeah. It was wild. 
it's really fun though i like that stuff is like it's a little bit stressful but it's like there's no consequence to it so yeah yeah i need to get mine started i mean I've, I, I told you before the issue is i i did that whole extruder it required me to like partially disassemble the whole x-axis gantry and like slide the new extruder on and basically the issue i have now is as it's printing the z-axis is not lifting enough so it digs into the print until eventually the worst case which is the last print it just started it picked up a blob and then just printed into a blob so there was like <laughs> like half a half a ping pong ball glob of plastic stuck to the nozzle in the Oof. hot end and i was able to get it and clean off but i was like i gotta fix this but the problem is every time i test things when i'm like when you do like the z-axis calibration you're just yeah. like raise raise 10 centimeters and then you measure it it's like exactly 10 centimeters so there's something wonky and then other people are like well you got to take your whole you got to take both your uprights off the printer re-level it and reassemble it and i'm like i don't want to do that so i've just been lazy yeah i should probably get around to it. i was going to do it over christmas break but yeah oh shit what playstation vr2 got announced oh what 4K HDR. Nice. HDR. That's... If that's real, that's big, because Quest doesn't have HDR. Foveated rendering, expanded field of view, that's all buzzwords. Eye tracking, that could be interesting. There's a Horizon Call of the Mountain VR game. Oh. I'm checking my work slack <laughs> because everything's happening right now. <laughs> Some of this was I, some of this was I don't want to say rumored. I feel like they openly talked about some of this before. It will have new controllers. <coughs> I guess nobody knew this was really happening. Except my Here, job. I'll send you the Venture Beat Discord, so you can post it over there and be like, "Hey, look what my friends sent me." No, no, no. They 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 have it now. I'm saying. Normally, it would, oh. this morning, everyone would be like, hey, can we have a couple people stay late for this? I, I don't... I, this is CES. Who That's what I'm saying. CES? Yeah. Why are they announcing it here? Well, yeah. Those bastards at CNET are covering it. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff, the 4K... Actually, I don't think 4K is that good, honestly. I think that's less than... Unless they're talking about per eye... They must be. Because you would expect it to be... I know most of them are still one screen. What was the... Aren't they like 1080 now? The Quest 2 original? is basically 2K by 2K per eye. Which would be a 4K screen. Yeah, because a 4K screen is 3840 by 2160. So basically, if you take a 4K screen, you split it in half, you get the Quest 2 resolution. So it's about the same resolution as the Quest 2. HDR unless, is going to be nice, though. Unless each eye is 4K. I doubt that. I yeah. I doubt that. But Wasn't... That would be... That would, well, but, they, but then it wouldn't be 4K because each eye is a square resolution, pretty much. Unless it's a super bonkers field of view and it's two sixteen by nines, <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Uh, which is what the Pi Max did. I think the Pi Max was like eight K. I, yeah, I mean, clicked I think on this the book. Is good, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's just it's still going to be hard to to beat the Quest Two because the Quest Two, man, it is they they did what needed to be done, which is super low cost standalone portable. There's a guy at GameStop asking for one today. Yeah, there are, there. Uh, they they work, which is crazy. And it's like Quest 2 is like, no, just buy this headset and wear it versus like, well, you can buy this headset, but you also have to own a PS5 and you have to be plugged into it all the time, you know, and you got to do wires. You know? Hey, you ever done wires before, man? It's so much fun. It's disgusting. Hey man, don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock my dinglinger, baby boy. Don't you knock my dinglinger. Um. 
Oh, I was going to ask you, you're, when we previously talked, your favorite Pokemon was Oddish. Is that still true? Oof. There's nothing wrong with Oddish. Naruto but, over here. Well, Oddish becomes that disgusting vile plume, doesn't he? Yeah. Oddish is cute. Vile plume is vile. Um. I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for Onyx. Um, yeah, Onyx is neato. Onyx is real cool. See, like Zapdos is cool, but he looks like a um, a uh, New Orleans uh, costume. Sony announced a car. What? <laughs> Two cars me? called called the Vision S. I I can't tell if they're just concept cars. Sony Vision. I feel like S. I should have a tiny little Sony CES screen on this stream that's wild <laughs> oh wait could i go the other way no i mean i guess they've talked about this but i don't i don't know it's a vision s prototype i don't understand what Water. this what what this is They, this is just what they say. In pursuit of the next generation of mobility, Sony's Vision S is now advancing to the real world. It's a it's a prototype vehicle that seeks to contribute to the evolution of mobility by exploring not only how cars work and how they are made, but also the relationship between society and cars. I don't understand why Sony is doing their own prototype car, though. They should partner with a manufacturer. Seems like an absolute waste of money. Wait, am, can I misread what a cleanse tag does? Oh, I don't... I, it's, it's weird. It doesn't quite work as you think it will. I'll, I'll look up the rules, because I had the same issue, and then I looked it up. Okay. It decreases the wild Pokemon encounter rate if held by the player's Pokemon. So... If held by the first member of the player's party, it decreases the encounter rate of wild Pokemon by one-third. Oh, okay. That's not... So it's, it's not permanent, and I think it only decreases the wild rate for lower levels... So it's not as good as you would think. What I'm am I supposed to do with help, these switches? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'll figure out the puzzle, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, I hear you're uh, struggling. Uh, like, figure it out. It's SaintHalucha.com. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, here it is. The Pokemon Mansion has four floors. Doors can be unlocked in the mansion by pressing switches hidden in Pokemon statues. Whoa. Let me, uh, let me look up the other guy. Getting tired. Daddy Tai Tai. What is the Dominoes? Ultras in the Mansion? Is that a like a fun movie? I I don't think Moltres is in the mansion. Um I open that one. Sorry, trying to find this. Pokemon Mansion, here we go. Okay. Okay, uh do you know do you want me to run you through? Yeah, just let me know kind of what I'm dealing with. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna run you through like the eleven steps to get all the way through. Which floor are you on? I'm on floor number one. Head for the staircase due north of the entrance and go up. Mm. Mm. 
Jung. Jung. Up. Head up the staircase in the upper left corner. You gotta, you gotta press this, uh, the statue switch, I believe. This one. Yeah. Okay, now head over to and flip the nearby switch. Can't do it. Okay, now head head. down the, and then head down the nearest path, leading south towards the trainers. Fall off. Fall off the ledge. Sorry, let me find this guy. Moltres in the mansion. Hello. Hello. Hi. I have started work on the minigame game show episode. Five. <gasps> I believe I have all the games picked. I believe I have almost all of the questions picked. However, I don't have any of the guests yet. And Will, I'm going to do my damnedest to make sure that you do not participate. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like we... Kyle's got to be on. Even yeah. though Kyle was on the last one, but he has yet to win one, so... I've, I mean, I've technically won every episode I've been on. I think Zach beat you on an episode, didn't he? I don't, I, not according to Halucha and I. <laughs> I think he did, because David and Zach teamed up against him. Also, I, I lost control. Uh, also, I technically won the episode Karen was on because I was playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. I don't think anyone won that episode. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. But it was it. That was, was a combination Jake of you me? still figuring it out and people who were more like low tier on not in a bad way, but knew they less. didn't know yeah. stream details. Yeah. But even the acronym one acronym wasn't that hard. <laughs> I feel like Jake should have got a lot of those acronyms. <laughs> So the release funny. date one, I thought people, <laughs> I completely, I completely misestimated how close people would get with the release dates. I forgot and about that. the answer that. is they did not. Uh, was I was so like, oh, good. I'll make it kind of easier. You just have to get like the year or the day or the month. And it was none of them. And I was like, oh, this is kind of hard. Um, but yeah, the new new episodes should be. We've got some new games, got some returning classics. I'm pretty excited. Should be some good stuff. He doesn't levitate though, Halucha. Oh, of course. Did you hear about the um, the people getting stuck on 95 in Virginia? No. There's a there's a winter storm. I don't know if you guys got any. You probably didn't get any. No, it we didn't like get it was more southern. I got zero. Um, there was, um, there was a storm in Maryland and Virginia, a winter storm. And so there were people on 95 in Northern Virginia that got stuck in the snow, including Senator Tim Kaine. And they were there for like 20 hours. Um, I just bring it up cause it's funny because this is going to sound a little extreme, but I feel like that traffic has almost absolutely nothing to do with snow because that's, there's a stretch of traffic between Richmond and Washington that goes by one small town and there's nothing else. And for some reason, this is not an exaggeration. It is almost always at a standstill on 95, no matter what time of the day, no matter what day it is. If you're driving 95 North, you will get stuck there. <laughs> like I've gotten stuck there for four hours before <laughs> and there was no accident. There was nothing going on. It was just traffic on the stretch of 95 in the middle of nowhere. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm dropping. So it's like, somewhere yeah yeah drop down off the edge it doesn't matter which one just drop off the freaking edge baby boy which one do you drop off of it doesn't matter uh head down the nearby stairs 
<laughs> yeah, it was just kind of funny because I know that stretch. That's the stretch of traffic where if I drive from Maryland to Florida, there should be nearby stairs. I mean, or you could search and explore. Um, <laughs> or I could play the game. <laughs> driving from Maryland to Jacksonville takes 12 hours. Driving from Jacksonville to Maryland takes about 14 hours. And it's because of that stretch of traffic. Because, like, when you're heading north... No, there should be a different set of stairs. No, I'm oh, which? Yeah, there, there's those. There's those stairs. There's these stairs. No, no, go back. Go back to where you dropped down. You should have access to those other stairs now. Do you drop down on the wrong side? That's what I'm. But it doesn't doesn't say which side. So let's go all the way back up. Okay. <sighs> Uh, yeah, so it's like that that stretch of 95 is god awful so it's yeah. just funny to see people stuck there and it becomes like a national news story it's like oh i guess if you're only stuck there for four hours it's not a national news story it's just oh i can try to catch a wheezing wheezing yeah that's why like we talked about you guys were like oh you know it's really not that it's not it's not that super long of a drive just to drive down there and it's like yeah drive on down but don't drive back because no matter what you will get stuck on that section of 95. yeah i've done that drive like four or five times me driving it once and it's not fun. Mm -hmm. yeah it's just that section sucks okay i'm gonna read this a little bit more closely Hey, got him. What should I name the wheezing? <laughs> I'm not naming it Marjorie. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh... A gaseous Pokemon named Marjorie. Is that pretty good, Ian? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, there's no political connotations to it. Uh, it's weird. Unrelated, this wheezing is already banned from Twitter. Oh. Just comes with the territory, you know? Remember last time where I looked up the words you're not allowed to say on Twitter and I accidentally started reading them out? <laughs> on Twitch? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, on Twitch, yeah. Okay, um, so go back up to... Oh, I gotta hit the switch again. Why do the switches reset? I don't know. It's Pokemon, bro. Okay, so head down... Now fall down the fall down the right one. No wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, fall off the edge. Fall off the left edge. Yeah, fall off the left one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. You idiot. It doesn't matter. Just fall down one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the blame on that one. Um, Thank you. At least I'm not the one that had to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Go fart. Rude. Also just killed himself. Hey. Okay. Rims. And you should head down the nearby stairs. Still not done. Just beat them already. Beat them off. I hate when Will just plays the video game. It's the worst. And it's um. <laughs> oh, he'll be wheezing when I'm done with him. Can you tell I'm done with Pokemon? Can you imagine how much longer this series would be if we streamed every part of it? 
Oh, no. That was a good call we made. 110% though. I have all these things that, like, upgrade my Pokemon. I should use them on a Pokemon. <laughs> Palucha, did you gift a tier one sub? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. You're LaCroix too cute. Boy. I gave it to him. To oh, LaCroix Boy. You, LaCroix Boy's going to be so happy. Also, once again, a reminder that I need to add the Streamlabs <laughs> stuff to uh, the Pokemon one. Why don't you add it right now? I'll find the URL if you add it. I'll... Okay. Just a browser source, right? Yeah, just a browser source. I usually do it as a separate scene so I can nest it in the center of all the scenes. Sorry, I'm trying uh, to open OBS. There it is. Uh, Sorry. Oh, no. I love hey! Cookies and cream, you're in between. I can't believe you stole my spleen. Sold it on the black market today. You got a big poop and you can't get scoop. I don't remember. It was, oh, the, it was very bad. You can't sing it. <laughs> oh, I should post this. Uh, I hate Discord sometimes because sometimes it's like, copy link to message and then it's yeah it's the default and it's yeah like, no okay it's set folks i'm gonna test it because it's funny stream like i can you give some more stuff so we can see if it work <laughs> yeah <laughs> kidding 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 uh where am i going now when you get a chance uh go down those stairs okay Uh, go left towards the trainer. <gasps> oh, Halucha cheered. Pitch. It popped up. Look at that. That's oh. a little weird thing. I don't even know what that is. Oh, thank you so much. I don't even think we have a, that, that alert set up because we just never expected to get that. Yeah, true. We only have the thank you, called? stranger. What is that called? A there was a cheer? Bits? What did that pop? It popped like a little. Oh, no, oh yeah, Subpixel cheered. Oh, that's the hearts. I'm gonna do a. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, that's a weird donation. Oh, the hearts, man. Great stuff. Yeah, they are pretty good. Thank you, stranger. stranger. I like knowing the fact that we're the only people who probably know that other than the game's creators yeah and yeah, fix that one the fact that i have a copy of the game right here. perfect it finally doesn't smell like a pack of cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> classic <laughs> i literally opened the ebay thing when i bought it and it was just like someone breathes cigarette smoke into my face i i came across an odd question the other day I I spotted in the parking lot what I thought was a full pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was an empty pack of cigarettes, but it just wasn't crushed. It was in immaculate condition. Um, you're going to flip the nearby switch, and then you're going to head to the upper right. Oh. 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 Um, if you, what would you do if you found a full pack of cigarettes? There is part of me that I, I don't smoke, but I would feel obligated to be like, well, I found a full pack of cigarettes. Maybe I should smoke them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd probably put them with like my cigars and stuff. Um, 
I want. I don't yeah, think... but see, it's just not as classy as cigars, you know. I the only time I ever smoked cigarettes was either when I was extremely drunk around other people who smoke cigarettes at parties, or on uh, a film shoot break. Pretty much everyone smokes. So it's just like yeah. you're hanging out. Um, but I, <laughs> that was one of those things. It's like casually just breathe it into your mouth and just socialize, not like full breathe in. <laughs> Yeah, I had, I, I have never smoked cigarettes, but I swear I just had like 100% secondhand smoke in Beirut all the time. Like we'd be in a land cafe, the land cafe is like 20 by 30 feet, there's like 30 PCs in there, and every single one is an ashtray and everybody's smoking, and you're just sitting there <laughs> playing, just surrounded by smoke. So that's why every time I smoke cigarette smoke, I go like, man, I could go for some Team Fortress 2 right now. <laughs> I, so you know, it's, it's just things like I almost texted you yesterday to see if you wanted to play video games, but I didn't only yeah. because um, you were com not complaining. Complaining makes it sound like you were complaining about how much time you uh, have to like stream and do D&D &D and stuff. So I didn't. I was I, I do think we should we should probably I do want to dig out royality again and play some PUBG because I, I do like the streams where we are just hanging out playing games together yeah um yeah but then i realized i think the best solution is my sister smokes and a pack of cigarettes is like 10 12 dollars so i should really just put it in a drawer and the next time she visits just be like hey you got this for you and it's just a pack of cigarettes <laughs> happy birthday I don't, it doesn't feel right throwing them away because it's like 12 bucks you know it's true um okay wait so you're going to head to the upper right, pass the trainer, and flip the northern switch. Okay, now head west until you run into a table holding the secret key. Oh, I meant to tell you, Karen and I watched the first episode. Uh, let me just grab this item. Of uh, The Witcher Season 2. It was quite good. Oh, yeah, that first episode, man. Oh, so um, good. We started, we watched about five minutes of it. After that, like, 30-second recap or whatever, and Karen just pauses and goes, Do you remember anything from season one? And I go, I don't remember a single thing from season one. So she's like, okay, let's re-watch season one. So I, I start to go back to it, and I said, wait a second. I don't want, I remember just enough that I'm not going to enjoy re-watching it. So we went to the, to the YouTube and searched Witcher 1 season one recap, and there's a 15-minute Netflix recap that isn't in the on, app on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh, is it on Netflix? It's not. It's not in. The, it's not in that series because oh. they did the thing where it's like Talking Dead. So now there's like there's like twelve different entries for Witcher. That's and one stupid. of them is season one recap. So anyway, See, we I watched it on it, YouTube. I knew it was in there. So we watched Maggie the, the one on YouTube, it. and that covered way more ground. And I was like, yeah. okay, I remember enough now to just start season. Yeah. Honestly, I wish uh, The Witcher was a TV show in the 90s because it would have been a monster a week show and I would have been okay with that. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. As somebody who just watched like eight seasons <laughs> of SG-1, okay, you don't want Monster of the Week. It's bad. Oh, SG-1's great. All right, you picked up the secret key. Now just No, leave. I didn't. I'm fighting a thing. God! <laughs> so glad I don't have neighbors anymore. <laughs> you, were, you were not any less quiet when you did have neighbors. Okay, wait, we got some, I got some details about the, uh, from the PlayStation blog. Visual fidelity. For a high fidelity visual experience, PSVR 2 offers 4K HDR, 110 degrees field of view, and foveated rendering. With an OLED display, players can expect a display resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye, which is like 10% more than the Quest 2. And smooth frame rates of 90 to 120 hertz. That's pretty important. 110 degree field of view. I'm just trying to compare this to the Quest 2. Quest 2 field of view. Okay, what did you say? I'm just leaving now? Yeah, just leave. Just get out. Do I have to hit just the switch leave. to get out? Dumbass. Now? Get out! Wait, did I miss the exit? Just leave! Do I have to hit the switch to get out? Probably! Go! Wait. 
Get, go home. Oh, that's like a full 20 degrees more field of view because the quest is only 90. That's actually pretty good. Um, headset based controller tracking, which means it doesn't need the lighthouses. It's like, it's like Oculus where the cameras on the headset track the controllers instead of needing external sensors. Um, eye tracking, 3D audio. Oh, it has vibrations on the motor, on the headset. What? That's new. The headset has rumble. That could be interesting, but it's only one motor. But that could be interesting. It has eye tracking. Eye tracking is pretty cool because that way, you know, with normal VR, you have to like use Ooh. the controllers. But now if you just look at something. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. That's better than the Quest 2. It's also a single USB type C wire, nice. which is better. And it has a built in microphone. The output is a stereo headphone jack, which kind of sucks. Pricing? It means you have to. They didn't say pricing, but it means you have to wear headphones with it. It doesn't have built-in speakers. Why is... Oh, oh, oh. I was very confused for a second as to why Save Data was here thanking Halucha for a sub. And then I realized one of the gifted subs went to the Save Data. I was so confused. Yeah. Uh, am I going um, to this gym oh, now? The... Yeah, go to the gym, asshole. Here's the <laughs> controller. <laughs> Update for anyone watching. Ian is done with Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I think this basically sounds like an Oculus Quest controller. It's a PlayStation button, an options button. It has a circle, cross buttons, R1, R2, and a right stick slash R3 button. And then the same thing on the left side. So pretty much an Oculus Quest controller where it's two buttons, a stick, and then like a like like a, a menu button. And then, well, actually, this has two triggers. But I guess it's I guess it's trigger and grip. So nothing crazy there. Sorry, I missed yeah, it. So Was there a pricing or no? No pricing. No. No date either. What so is this? honestly, pretty pretty good details, pretty good specs, but it's still tied to the console. So if you like, you could basically get this in a quest too for. I don't they start at 300 now? What? PS5s? Quest 2. Are they 5? Oh, 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 oh. It's 299. Yeah, cool. they start at 299. Maybe. So for $300, you can get a complete standalone that is basically 95% of the specs from the PlayStation VR. Local chat. I was actually going to message you to be on local chat this week, but then I realized it's um, game of the year, so you game can't be on it. Sorry, Next sucker. Week. I got. I mean, I got to message Chris because Chris wants to be on uh, mini game game show. I feel like I haven't talked to Chris in a very long time. I texted him the other day. You played video games? What? What kind of uh, Sam hell you doing? I want to I want to hear about Save Data's Game of the Year plans. <laughs> what are you guys doing? After the accident, if there was an accident with Chris, I would know about it, and it would be his fault. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be butt related for sure. Hi, it's butt related. I'm sorry to report this accident. Yeah, she and I are related. butt related, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, save data. Are you guys gonna are you gonna pick a game of the year, or are you all just gonna discuss your favorite games of the year? We're we're doing we each discuss our games of the year, just because we're not ready to have a like site pick yeah, yet for that commitment. Yeah. Oh oh, you guys are gonna buy NFTs on stream. Heard it here first. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet that right now. I wish I had an NFT. If 
Bonnie is confused. Hey kids, I'm gonna start eating you. <laughs> Man, NFTs are so stupid, but honestly the best analogy I've heard was somebody who's like, hey, remember remember when somebody could like buy a star for you? <laughs> That's what an NFT is. It's a paper that doesn't mean anything and says you own something, but it doesn't actually exist and there's no actual sense of ownership. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading fun fact about Chris. He got fired from the job we met at because I, he was asked to make a cocktail for a beverage director. He got nervous and dropped the mixer and splashed Barry's simple syrup on a chandelier above the bar. Oh. I read that quickly for a second. I thought you said fun fact about Chris. He got fired from his job. And I was like, what? <gasps> I that's insane that he got fired for that, though. Oh, that sounds like a Chris move for sure. But still, like, I would be like, OK, let's clean. Let's clean that up. But understandable mistake. Chris has I wouldn't say he's this all the time because he's my friend, but he uh, has a streak of confidently incorrect sometimes that i think he, he sounds like me <laughs> he sounds like yeah. ian <laughs> uh love him to death oh, oh he got for fired from the gotcha oh so he banged the manager while he stained the sin. so the stain was from his semen. oh Oh, boy. <laughs> Chris and Ian share the brain cell. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a 60-50 situation. <laughs> so good. Oh, it's so <laughs> fucking funny. You get it on Tuesday, Fridays, and Mondays. <laughs> I get it on Mondays, Fridays, and, and Sundays. <laughs> oh. Is Subpixel part of the wiki? Or are we just our own page? Actually, can we be I, our own page in the Save Data Wiki, but our page is the most up-to-date, comprehensive page? <laughs> I was thinking... I was thinking... Um, Wait, well, Ian's in the, the wiki? wiki? <laughs> I was I was literally thinking this joke the other day where I was like, Save Data has a wiki, and that's cool, but if we had a wiki, I want it to be a million pages, one page for every video game ever made, and you open it up and it just says, Ian hates this game. <laughs> and then cites where I... Like the episode that I <laughs> Except for Factorio. That's the comprehensive page. Up. Save data wiki. Oh. Save data team. Um wiki. I'm switching Pokemon. Where's this wiki? Send me send me a link to It's it. uh <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna say a fake URL. <laughs> that's a bad that's a bad call. I, I found the link tree. It's not in your link tree. Wow. Bunch of amateurs over there. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I just I clicked on Will I clicked on Will's screen chair. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> um <laughs> No, it's not in the link tree. Link tree's just YouTube, Twitter, Patreon, Twitch, and Insta. Hey, I gotta look at this. Known bastard man from <laughs> Subpixel. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hates the MCU and their fans. <laughs> I forgot Alucha was here for that episode. <laughs> oh, oh that's God. so good. Uh, that's so. Wait, you good. gotta make you gotta make Subpixel link to the Subpixel page. Wait, he's part of Enemies of the Pod. Nineteen eighties <laughs> Lakers. Excuse me. I swear, Brian David Gilbert's only on here for this. doing the Pokemon editability tier list. Yes. Oh, Mark Hamilton. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is y'all got good. a good fan base going on over there. I wish we were as popular as them, oh. but also I don't in at all. <laughs> I have a page. Oh, oh no, so good. my friends of the pod, allies. I'm an ally. Remember the subpixel squad and ally of the pod. Zach has bullied Will on occasion with sex signature gaslight gate gatekeep girl boss strategy. <laughs> What? <laughs> Enjoys model kits. Only known alive. Only person alive known to tolerate Ian Gibson. I don't know if you already said this, but I clicked 
enemies of the pod and the first one is 1980s lakers this Wait, is it's real good literally links to my instagram and twitter <laughs> i am oh. a male Jason kojima local chat mini game game show i did appear on one episode of around the monitor before they never let me back on ever again <laughs> This is so good. Y'all good. Yeah, tell me about the Lakers thing. Sorry for all the people tuning in for the Pokemon content. <laughs> but screw you. That's good. Love it. Are you oh, done that, yet? Ah. Yeah. <sighs> Zach, I also wasn't going to message you about doing another Chasing Kojima, because it's probably about time. <laughs> what, Zach? What? Wait, I'm sorry. I got contacted by a social media management site, and they were like, we already made a profile for your page. And I clicked on it, and it was a page for Larry Bird? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, I know. I, I, I was going to say something, Zach, but I... I could tell Will was doing really bad at Pokemon, and I just wanted to watch him just continue to be bad. Why can't what ice is just water? Ice. Wait, 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 wait. What happens when you put ice next to fire? What happens? It melts into water and then hurts it even more because it's frozen water. I water shouldn't affect fire because water just turns into steam. Ice turns into water. Water doesn't affect fire. I'm Why? Really That's the, you put fire fireman. in a cold thing and the fire's less potent. Port, port is the right side of the ship. No, it isn't. <laughs> port is the left side of the ship. Port and right, have four letters. Cut. That's a deep cut when we played Sea of Thieves and you were like, oh, I love boats. I love being on boats. I've been on boats so much. And then you just kept like saying the wrong port and starboard the entire stream. You don't understand my like, brand. Oh, when, I, when, I, when I did a tour, I had to say the opposite. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But it's still very infuriating that you keep saying them wrong. <sighs> Will does love boats. Boats these nuts. <laughs> Folks, that's been the stream today. Uh, boats these nuts. It's only, it's only a Tuesday, too. I'm done. I don't know if you can tell, but I've had an awful work at, week at work, and it's only Tuesday. Hey, I'm the one who pointed out the servers were down for that stream. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and then I was probably kicked off that stream because I didn't want to play golf with your friend. Oh, boy. That's a great stream. Love you guys. Uh, I feel like I had a... What's your favorite? We've talked a little bit about how we were hesitant with uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl because of the chibi art style. What's your favorite Pokemon art style? Are you asking me? Yeah. So we've got, we've got like the black and white. We've got the black and white. What would you call it? 8-bit? Yeah. Of the original Game Boy. we got the GBAs. we got the... Game Boy the Color, color is a little bit different. we got the DS ones. Actually, Karen's the been playing. Ones are still fairly pixel, right? Karen's been playing Platinum, and I've been watching that, and that looks pretty good. Is that is that is that still like Sprite, or are they doing some? Uh, oh, excuse me, God, I'm losing it over here. That's still Sprite based, right? Let me take a look. I don't know. Will does love boats. Gen 5's animated sprites. Oh yeah, I can see that. I'm taking a look at a trailer right now. I think I'm going to buy Arcre Arceus. Ar Arceus? Arceus. Yeah, we talked about it. That was the plan. Yeah. I'm just well, like. Actually, know. I think we were going to wait for reviews. Yeah. But I'm going to go to my local trash. GameStop. But yeah, Platinum does look good. I do like that. Um, and yeah, then the 3DS that. ones. 3DS oh, ones are okay. Do I want Helping yeah. Hand? Which is a very different thing when you Google it. <laughs> I don't work for GameStop. Thank you very much. I gotta, I gotta look at this clip. Although I almost, I heard them, they were talking to another customer and they said, yeah, just go to GameStop.com. And I, my brain went, no, it's Spot. <laughs> and I almost said it out loud. <sighs> what are you laughing at? 
Oh, Lucha, help clip. me. Do I want a helping I'm hand? I'm gonna share this clip. Why are you sharing the clip? It's. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to... <laughs> trying to think of what end case. North Korea. Oh, North Korea. Stop. North Korea is bad, so it means I don't want the move. I like this oh, new you know system. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download it so I can just put it in that way. You know. Super nerd Eric. Oh, my fixing my glasses. Clutch balls, kid. Okay. Barney, I gotta heal you up so you can take care of all these children. I'm excited for game of the year. I, I started writing out some notes on what I like my picks, but also things I want to hit on the picks. Yeah, I really do not care. I just don't want to. But, you know, I want to I, I don't want to just be like, this game's good. I want to be like, look, here's why this game deserves. I mean, that's how I'm going to approach we're... every single game and it's going to be great. Oh, uh, yeah. I just all mean, my picks because we're win. arguing, but I'm trying to like contextualize it in terms of just like there were a lot of good games this year but were this there is why though? these games are worth yes queen I don't need the max revive I can't believe ice collapse. moves don't work on touch grass uh, how, how did you think they were working when you kept so doing it and it kept saying not very effective I, I don't read it's one of my flaws one Actually, I read a ton, but I don't read in these games. What are you opening here? Yeah, are you? Kinda... Are we just opening your mail now? No, sir. I kind of want to get back into the stock market. Oh, God. Yeah, I keep watching my stuff. My stuff's just almost all bad. Yeah, I'm down, but it's slowly going back up, which is pretty good. Yeah, you level up, you little butthole. Did you get the badge yet? No. 10,000 channel points on subpixel? How much... Zach, what stuff of ours do you... Uh, do you watch live on Twitch? Just curious. I don't even know what you can do with channel points. We're like... We're like bad... Tubers and streamers, because I don't know about you, Will, but like I just don't watch. I don't watch yeah. your own content, and I don't watch any Twitch live streams. So it's like yeah. we come in to create, but then we don't participate at all. I <laughs> only watch uh, Nextlander occasionally, mostly mostly their vods on YouTube, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Yeah, we're bad. See, I don't understand what channel points are. It's a customizable points program that lets streamers reward members of the community with perks, including a taste of benefits typically reserved for subscribers. We don't have any subscribers. Uh, no. no, we do. Wait, can they pay money to see my nipple? I'll send you a picture of my nipple if you pay 10,000 points. How much for uh, microphone ASMR? What were they uh, calling it? Ear licking? Uh, yeah, we should get some of those ear licking. Ear Actually, that's the slogan for... <laughs> KFC, <laughs> you're looking good. <laughs> you're looking good. <laughs> hey, you're, you're looking, looking good. <laughs> hey, you're looking good. All right, I'm. I have enabled channel points. <sighs> um, I'm gonna manage the rewards. Poop stream. Okay, I'm turning on smart cost. Okay. And now, create a community challenge. <laughs> Commit a murder. I'm going to call this one, Make Ian Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Ugh. You and Kingdom Hearts 2 just get married already. Um... I don't think we need a description. What's the goal amount? 
zero. No, he doesn't. He just want. He hates Kingdom Hearts three. He won't stop talking about it. Oh, put Kingdom Hearts two. I'm gonna put it at fifth. Fif I, I'm points? already not being on that stream, tell you that much. Yeah, I think it's just me suffering. But maybe we maybe we set it up kind of like Rikert streams where it, people can make random things happen to me. Like random sound effects happening while I'm playing. I Did I tell you Alexander told me that he would pay real money to be able to tase you in person? <laughs> <laughs> He said, "Next year, can I pay real money to actually tase him?" I know, I know. He finds me really annoying, which is great for extra life. <laughs> I love it. Um, how to oh, full restore? Is that how I give you health? Hey. Ah, uh, okay. Give me a second here, folks. Yeah, I'm setting right. something up, uh, so you guys can can. 10K choose our fate, and the user chooses what game y'all have to stream at least once. That's not bad. Twenty-eight by twenty-eight. Ugh. I'm putting this at thirty days. You know what we should do, Ian? We should do like ten thousand points. We have to. It's like exactly what Halusha said. Is we have to. They name a game, and we have to go buy and play it during that stream. You said during during extra life. No, just for a stream channel points thing. What? Oh, okay, oh. yeah. It's not bad. Okay, La I started bon the challenge. Sa oh, community challenge it's started. Oh, it did a whole banner and everything. No, it didn't. It did. Or look, it's up here on my screen. Ian plays Kingdom Hearts 2. Raised. How many what channel points? I have infin infinite channel points. Can I just contribute infinity? No. <laughs> Wait, on my phone, I think I'm logged into me. Oh. Yeah, I see it now. I don't I'm know how to... Check. I probably have a lot under mine. I'll, I'll try it. Seriously, though, we're not allowed to donate. That's cheating. That's not cheating. That's 100% cheating. Oh, oh, gosh. Shut up. I don't want to watch an ad on my own stream. <gasps> Ian, I have 18,000 points. <laughs> 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 no, no, you, you're not allowed to. Alucha must to. have a billion points. He's gotta. He watches all of these. Just biding his time. You're Joe Byron, <sighs> your time. I should have put <gasps> fourteen point you know... eight. Oh, oh, oh. By your powers combined, gentlemen. By your powers combined. I was thinking about putting in. What? What do you think? I mean, I'm pretty sure you have an opinion on this, but I was thinking about putting in Ian plays Death Stranding. One of the greatest games ever made. I feel like Kingdom Hearts is better. In terms of... Whoa. Potential. Whoa. Oh, I thought you meant it's a better game. I wasn't gonna... That ain't true. No, Listen to just our is it better for... for... I'm trying to look at it. I'm gonna run hand. I have 54,000 channel points. <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh, <laughs> hoped Ian would just make it a normal redemption. That'd be pretty good. I need more ether. Ether. Ethel. Uh oh. We don't get any money for channel points, do we? I mean, I, I hope we don't, because I feel like... I feel like it should just be... Oh my god, Zach. 2,000, not enough. <laughs> uh, there is a 30-day timer on this. Wait, wait. Wyatt, wait! <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, <gasps> the max is 2k <gasps> per person. Is it two, is it per person per per day? That's smart though. Uh sorry, there's no refunds here at Twitch. 
Twitch max channel points. Ooh. Are you saying we only oh. have <laughs> we have less than 7.5 people that watch our streams? <laughs> Uh, no, I think, uh, what do they say, one point per five minutes, I think? No, that can't be right. They get ten points per five minutes watched. <laughs> I know that's exactly what you're saying. Um, wait, look up. Um, is, is it that a it's max It's going to work in the end. It's going to work in the end, so I'm not going to hit it. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> we have 30 days. But how many, can he do more tomorrow or no? I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying to find it. That's what I want to know. Let's go to channel points. I feel like there was an option. Do I not have any more ether? Oh no, I think it's, I think the, I think the built-in is 2000. That's, That's dumb. I, I kind of like that. It means you couldn't just have a super fan that makes you do stuff. I think that's exactly what you need. Uh, this is cool, though. It means that, that stuff works. We could do that in the future. I'll throw a tweet out or something on it. Do it, girl. I'm going to... um. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. Yes, you are the super fan. Lucha. We. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a beautiful baby boy. Ooh, sorry. Scooting. Scooting. Hello, sir. Thank you for telling me that. Fire's weak to HDL. That's weird. It's a weird thing to say to someone you're about to fight. Wee. Oh, I got intimidated. Oh, you said to give Surf to Lapras. I should probably do that. No, this person spells it like my brother, so it's not that, Zach. Yeah, my brother is a Zach. My brother's been on plenty of streams. Hi, boys. Will garbage <clears throat> change Pokemon? This? No. Kakiman. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. It's just a classic. Why would I, I get like, rid of I like cut? the Pokemon Snap. What if I have to go somewhere? I like the po Shot! I like Pokemon Snap. Art style. The 64 one. Oh, now when I search Pokemon Snap, it's all like that. Oh, Daddy Tai Tai. Hey, this looks like um, the guy who trained Goku. Blaine. We haven't had Zack on in a while. You know, there was there was a game I was thinking about. I was playing, but it's it's in early access and it kind of costs like 30 bucks per person. It's called Ready or Not. It's like the spiritual successor to SWAT 4. Oh. It looks it looks very good. I was trying to see if he wanted to do Project Zomboid with us. Surf could do uh, PUBG. Oh yeah, he would PUBG do PUBG. With us. Did you uh, did you get the badge yet? No, not yet. I'm so tired. I know. So sorry, baby Daddy boy. Go, tai -tai. Daddy go bye bye. Daddy go sleep. Pete. Which Pokemon would you want as a pet? Um. I mean, if I can milk a Squirtle, then definitely a Squirtle. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. That's just free water. I just start like a Nestle company, you know? Oh, you think it's water? I mean, it has to be. It's effective against fire. Oh, it's not ice, apparently. Ugh. Um. Probably any Pokemon Snorlax, I can make. Man, I, I like Snorlax if it, he wasn't so big, you know? Oh, Snorlax, I would just... Oh, he would be the ultimate big spoon. He'd be like a beanbag. All yeah. the time. Oh, you but you'd have to... You couldn't live on a second floor, though. He'd fall through. Yeah. It'd just be like my 800-pound life, but with a Snorlax. Yeah. Man, think of all the reality TV shows with uh, Pokemon. I'm just trying to think of like a nice, cuddly Pokemon, you know? Meowth. Meowth is a good one. Plus the coins from Meowth. I think Growlithe. Growl Growlithe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do an episode of the best. Cuddliest Pokemon. Nope. I, like, honestly, I feel slightly betrayed by you picking that nasty snake Pokemon. As sexier than Halucha. You disgust me. That? Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't thinking with my brain, if I, if you know what I mean. I was thinking oh, with I my sexy you snake. With. Apparently you got a, apparently you have a uh, snake fetish. Or I think it's a salamander. Who knows, man. Halucha is just so regal, so majestic. What do you call a pirate dog? Poop, 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 An R K nine. We gotta do another episode of the best soon. But honestly, Pokemon's just taking up a lot of time in a good way, though. But I looked up again. Um, Pax East twenty twenty two. They haven't opened panel submissions yet. We're going to try to do probably an ep a live episode of the bests at PAX East. I think that would go over well with the live audience. I think Psyduck. Psyduck would be cool. Psyduck or Golduck? I think I'm thinking of like Golduck. Chaos Jeopardy Live would be pretty good. I wouldn't know because I've never been on any of the Jeopardies, but it sounds like it'd be fun. Yeah, Psyduck. Psyduck is the cooler one. I don't Use have any water moves, moves. moves. If I did, I would use it. Where's your Lapras? Your Lapras, Lapras doesn't, doesn't have any water moves. He has an ice move and everyone yelled at me for using the ice move. Because Barney fell asleep. He died. I'm just oh. going to bite him to death, you know? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, you hurt me so much. Got hurt with Rico though. That's the like lozenge company, right? I know you told me to give Lapras, but that was while I was still here and I didn't have time. I'm just gonna body slam this little bitch. Well, it's a boy, so it's not a... What is recoil and why does it keep working? There, die. No, it's it's like he doesn't move and he gets some recoil, so he has takes a little bit of damage. But he's not a gun. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, suck it late. Go die in a casket, you old man. You got a badge! Daddy got a badge. Let's update that trainer card. Only one badge left. Folks. Uh, let me look at let me look at the guide real quick. Yeah, you gotta tell me where I'm going next and then we can end it. I mean honestly I'm gonna have a bowl cereal I, after this. I think right after this, there's another boss fight. Let's just go do it. No, I do not want to. A gym uh, fight? Oh no! Oh, I thought it was my rival, Gibsby.
Bye. You, you could go get your eighth badge right now, and we could do the islands off stream. Because honestly, the yeah, islands. Yeah, islands, are not... I figure we're doing off stream. So do, if we end now, you could do the islands here. Or we, or we do kind of what Zach is saying, which is where we do the next gym now to get you your eighth badge. Then you train off stream, including the islands. We get For you up to Elite probably four. level 50, 55, and then we do Elite Four. Or next stream is gym plus elite four. I I think let's let's power let's through let's the do the gym yeah. right now. Um What's the next gym? What uh Viridian City. What type? Um It's uh it's got a Rhyhorn, Nitto King, Duck Trio, Rhyhorn. Yeah, it's mostly ground stuff ground rock so you're gonna do some grass pokemon surf lapras the surf will work well against the rock and ground Hey, you gotta put Surf on Lapras. Surf you... Lapras. He knows so many moves. Okay, so I'll just get rid of Psychic, right? <clears throat> I'm assuming uh, I'm getting yeah, rid of Confuse, rid of... right? Confuse, right? I would say Confuse, right? Oh, Body Slam. I'm waiting for Saint Lucha to let me know. I think you want to keep the Ice Beam, because I think Ice is important in Elite Four. My uh, Snorlax by Psychic. Oh, Psychic is bad. Okay. Yeah. One, two, and poo. Nice. You're saying you go to Fuchsia, but don't I need cut? How do I get to the other page? Can I not fly back? Just... I gotta talk to the Hi, sir. Oh, I did mm -hmm. not. I did not see what he said. Wait. Oh, you, you, you idiot. We can't go to the gym now because Will went to the island. He has to go through the island chain before he can go back. Really? That's it. Yeah, you have to you have to finish the story. It doesn't take long, but it's too long for the stream. Oh, uh, I didn't. Wait, wait, you cannot put that on me. First of all, you didn't say anything. You Second did. of all. You just you just went there and you said, I don't know what he said. And you took the boat and blah, 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 blah. No, no, I came out of the thing and he invited me and you you have plenty of time to warn me. Plenty of time. So go ahead and do the islands off stream. Next stream, I, I would recommend do Halucha's tips. Also, um, do the islands. I would recommend getting your Pokemon to level 50 at a minimum. That should be a good starting point for Elite Four because I think you've got a strong party. Just get the level up. So next stream, we'll definitely knock out that eighth badge. We'll do the rival fight. We'll do Elite Four. We'll see where we're at. We, we will see where we're at, more. folks. Thank you. Especially Zach and Lucha for watching. Uh, we'll be back. Thursday is our game of the year discussion, so please tune in for that. It'll be a fun, fun time. 9 p.m. Eastern local chat. And then Saturday at some point, probably 8 p.m., we'll be doing more Pokemon, uh, possibly earlier. Who knows? Um. Let's just got four point fourteen point nine. Yes, and everyone give their points on our Twitch channel if you're watching this on YouTube uh, to make Ian play Kingdom Hearts two. I'm gonna donate some points right after this. 
Um, it's gonna be great. We're gonna make it happen. Make America, make Twitch great again. <sighs> um, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you all on Thursday. Thank you, Halucha. Thank you, Zach. Bye.